Okay, we're here today with Lori Jennifer and we're headed to the Indian dealer in South Elgin. You ready? I know I'm probably going to get criticized because I do a stagger with the lead rider to the right, but I've been doing that for a couple of particular reasons among them. So that the fact if I suddenly make a right hand turn unexpectedly, I won't be cutting them off. The worst that could happen is they just go on straight and not get hurt. And the other thing is I think it actually helps the view too for me to be to the right of the rider behind. Which in a two-person stagger I like uh, letting the person behind me have the best view of everything oncoming traffic they can. And hopefully the rain holds off for us. It's been spitting and sputting a little bit but worse comes to worse. Both bikes have a full set of rain gear in them so we can deal with that too. It's just lately what's the pain is the road construction. Lots and lots of groove pavement and pavement with oil on top and I don't care for that at all on a motorcycle. It's very uncomfortable riding. But yeah, Lori's back in town visiting her mom, friends and family, so uh, this time she has some time to come out and spend a little bit of time with me. So it worked out pretty good. It's one of the reasons why I like keeping the extra bike around. I have some friends that come out on business trips and then what they end up doing is uh, I go and pick them up by the airport and then they come back to my place and then uh, I've even got the riding gear and everything, extra helmets, so uh, they can just hop on a bike too. Even if they're out into Chicago and don't have their bike with them, they. Uh, can still do some riding at my place. So it works out pretty good. But anyway, as I'm taking the time to talk about it, there is the meetup coming up July 1st to 7th this year at my place. Uh, yeah, it is kind of odd where one of them is close and one's far away. Yeah. So I think the Buckeye boys are coming in on the 3rd. Keith and John stay until the 6th. But uh, if for some reason you'd like to come on a little early, that's fine too. Or stay a couple of days after. We'll have accommodations inside the house. We'll have uh, tents already pre-set up if you don't bring a tent. I think I have either two or three tents available, so I'll uh, be able to set them up. Even went out and bought some goodies for the uh, garage, besides fixing up the garage and fixing the roof. I uh, got a coffee maker, a microwave, and a nice size refrigerator, about half a standard size refrigerator, which is fine for a garage refrigerator. Oh, we got our beer and pop fridge, too. Now this road's a lot better than it was several weeks ago, so not so bad to ride on as long as we don't get hit with rain. And I think KLR Rick said he might make it. Might have my friend Steve that's a drummer. He might, he might come. <laughs> So what the plan today is, is uh, last time I was at the Indian dealer last fall, they did not actually have a scout on the showroom floor at the time. Yeah. But they said before uh, winter they would have one, and I didn't get a chance to get back and check it out. What? Yep. 
So this time hopefully they have at least one on the floor. I'd like to sit on it and just see how comfortable it is. <laughs> Gotta switch to a cruisers. <laughs> You need to oil your brakes. What? You need to oil your brakes. 